Hey everyone, John Reed here, author of 110 Things to See with a Telescope and many other popular stargazing books. This is the fourth video in our observatory restoration series, and it's finally time to build the structure for the observatory here at Stargaze Nova Scotia. It's going to be fun. This is Learn to Stargaze. All right, it's a new day here at Stargaze Nova Scotia, and this is our first day of pure construction. We are finished with the demo. Uh, as you remember from the last video, we borrowed this floor from the old Abbey Ridge Observatory, and we're gonna recycle it here at Stargaze Nova Scotia. So we did have to leave some boards back at the other location because they were part of the deck. We're gonna put in some beams here on top of these sauna tubes, and hopefully by the end of the day, we'll be laying some floorboards. We've got our main beam secured in to the sauna tubes. Now we're going to cut two more of these and put them in our in our deck supports on the other side. Okay, they're blasting over here to make a new road. So get ready for the explosion. I wonder if it was a dud. So when we took this out at the other location, uh, it was nailed in with framing nails. Um, these are fairly structural, so I'm going to be using uh, 3 and 1 8 inch GRK screws. And that should replace those framing nails. Um, hypothetically, make it even stronger. All right, so we've set the height that the structure needs to be by the position of this bolt here. So now what we're gonna do is pull this out and we're gonna coat the outside with anchoring adhesive and just put it back in, just like that. And then we're gonna coat the outside of these, this screw here with anchoring adhesive and we're gonna put that back in here and then just make sure that it's back in this position and then we'll drop the structure back down, square the structure, and then screw it in. All right, it is August 8th, 2024. We're back at Stargaze Nova Scotia. Today, we're gonna hope to get some floors on this and maybe some walls and the front door. It's 8 a.m. in the morning. We've got about nine hours ahead of us and let's see how much we can get done. So as we said before, we're gonna put our data and power center down here under the floor. And so we need to modify the floor by extending these joists here all the way to here and then removing uh, this section of joists here. All right, and here's our box. So we'll go right in here. So we'll put a floor in this under here and then a trap door on top. So this piece is the trap door. We need to cut out a circle with a radius of one foot. Woo. All right, we believe it's as square as we can make it. Let's screw in those bases. So we're about to start the walls. We've got everything laid out. Now it's just time to start cutting two by fours. Everything's cut to size. Now all we need to do is screw it together. Just a reminder that this project is primarily funded through the sale of our stargazing guidebooks, mainly 110 things to see with a telescope, a kid's guide to the night sky, and of course, 50 things to see with a telescope for kids. I'll post some links in the description. You can also find us on Patreon if you'd like to support us there as well. You might notice a new join button below this video. We've added a YouTube memberships option where you can get special perks like badges, access to me via social media, and even priority remote observations using the Abbey Ridge Observatory. All right, back to the video. 
Okay, we're back at Stargaze Nova Scotia this morning and we're gonna continue framing the walls, but there's a little change of plans. Originally, the architect had recommended that we basically take the old observatory, which was about 36 inches tall, and basically build a base for it and put the new walls on top of the old walls. So I think a better idea will be to rebuild these walls entirely, except for that top plate, which serves as a template for the dome. All right, we're about one hour into our day and we've got one wall down and one more to go. We've got all the pieces cut. And we've got uh, a window selected. So we've got some extra spacing there for the window to go in. Now we just got to screw it together. We got our walls in for the day. So the next step, we got to put on our missing wall, which has all the electronics in it and then put on the siding. These are like the old house fuses. All right, super carefully cutting out around these wires because this top plate is rotten right here. So we'll cut some grooves and fit a new board in to lengthen this because it needs to be 125 and a half inches total. All right, so in the garage here, and we're gonna drill some holes into this pier for the wiring. And the way we're gonna do this is just starting with a small bit and then working up. All right, we got our first piece of trim in and it looks epic. It's Monday, August 26th, We're back at Stargaze, Nova Scotia. Our goals today, uh, we need to put a coat of paint on the observatory building. I'm gonna remove this door. I'm gonna add some more weather stripping and caulking to make sure that's sealed up uh, nicely. Then we need to put the trim on because our goal is to get the dome put on the structure before the rain comes. <laughs> Okay, so we determined that the windows look best when they're about 19 inches from the ceiling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these blocks in. And then we'll be able to cut out the hole here with a router. All right, so the way this is gonna work, we've got a few guide holes here to guide the router. And this router has a non-cutting bit on the end and this will run along the edge of the two by fours inside along the rough opening. And then this blade here will cut out the square for the window. Let's test it. I think we're out of gas. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a little bit of complexity here, but I think we've got a plan. The weather shipping here comes down about an inch. And so we had a couple options. One was to have this piece of trim 
down by about a half an inch over the entire building, except that doesn't really give us enough grip with the weather stripping. So what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna run the vertical pieces beside the door all the way to the top. And then for this length over the door, we're gonna pull a piece down just a little bit and that weather stripping should just barely cover it. And hopefully you won't notice too much because this will appear just as door trim and not the main trim around the structure. So we finished most of the trim. Now it's time to trim out the windows. So basically all we need to do is make a box where the internal dimensions are the rough cutout out of the window. So 17 by 27 and a half. Amazing. Okay, I think we have a plan for lifting the dome up onto the structure. We spoke to the neighbor, he's got a 90 ton or something excavator. He needs to rent a tractor trailer of some sort to take it across the street because it's too heavy for the road. He's gonna build a net out of rope and lift the dome with the excavator. So hopefully on Thursday, we will be ready to move this dome. Hey everyone, thanks for being a member of the End of the Video Club. If you'd like to get advance notice of live streams and upcoming releases of our stargazing guidebooks, be sure to sign up for our mailing list at learntostargaze.com. Once you sign up, you'll get a note from me and a free stargazing logbook to track your progress. Be sure to subscribe to take your stargazing experience to the next level, and remember, the future is looking up.